Uh, the last two weeks, uh, I think some leaders had stepped up on both sides of the ball, and uh, our guys were really focused. You could tell yesterday at the walkthrough, and then obviously at pregame today, our guys had a, a good look in their eye, and uh, they were ready to play. It's fun to play at home, obviously. Uh, I, I thought our guys did a great job after uh, the turnover where they scored to tie it at seven. The, the momentum had really shifted, and uh, our guys did a great job in that second quarter of taking the momentum back and getting a 28-7 lead. And then, uh, you know, in the second half, even though the points don't dictate it, uh, we played buys in football. Uh, we were able to run the ball with success. I was pleased with Cam Peterson kicking some field goals. And then defensively, other than the one big play, which we've got to clean up, I thought we were pretty sound all day. So I'll open up for questions. Carson's performance, when did you get a sense that, you know what, he's good to go, we, we're going to play him? Well, on Wednesday, I thought he practiced uh, pretty well. We were going to check and see how he felt on Thursday. And on Thursday, he was a little sore, uh, but they thought if we gave him two days off, he'd be ready to go. But he was locked in. I mean, that, he was as on point as I've seen Carson. And uh, you know, we ran him early. Uh, to see if he would be able to hold up. And, and he looked and gave, kind of gave a thumbs up. He was ready to go. And, and I thought he played a, a great, great football game. Yeah, how big was that 27-yard touchdown? Did that kind of signal to you that he was fine at least ankle? Yeah, he, and he checked that himself at the line of scrimmage. And so uh, Tim was kind of wondering. He goes, oh, he checked it into Q Power himself. And, and that told us right there that uh, Carson was locked in and ready to go. And, and what a great run. CJ Smith make a difference today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he makes a big difference. Uh, we were able to, you know, he made the first tackle of the game and just kind of got the, the tempo going. And then uh, uh, in, in certain situations when we went to man coverage, they, they tried to go to their receiver uh, on that backside X. And that's where we usually have CJ. And he made some really good plays. So I was happy for CJ because I knew this first game, you know, he hadn't played really competitive football for since last January. And I, I was really pleased. I think he'll continue to you know, improve. He'll continue to feel more comfortable. But he's a big lift for our defense. Morlock take over the top spot in the backfield? Well, Al, uh, he did some great things. And uh, we're still going to roll those guys in. And Chase does such a great job out of the backfield, obviously. We can't wear him down as well. Um, so we'll kind of look at the film and, and uh, uh, see where he fits. But obviously, he played. I thought he had a great game. Nobody could tackle him. What, what a great, great day he had. Just evaluate the offensive line. I know we talked about so many young guys, so many guys rotating in. Just what they were able to do and step up. Yeah, I, I thought they played exceptionally well. We were able to run the football. I, we had over 200 yards of rushing, 280, 300, 300 yards of rushing. I mean, we really pushed the line of scrimmage. And I thought early on we set the tempo that uh, allowed us to be able to run some of our perimeter stuff and then get back to the inside. But I was really pleased with all probably seven or eight guys that were in that rotation. They they did a great job. Can I talk about Graham a little bit? How big was that screenplay where Warlock had to break some tackles on the third and long? Yeah, it was a third and long, and, and we were wondering if we were going to get pressure, and sure enough, they did, and, and we got got into the right call. And, and I thought they had a, a, a guy that could have made the play, but uh, Chase made him miss and, and then took it to the end zone. But, uh, no, that was a, a great play for us. That really turned us turned the tide. Chase showed some moves and some speed maybe that we haven't seen before, maybe in some games. Is that what you've seen out of him in practice? We really have. I, he's bigger, he's stronger, and he is uh, faster this year. Um, but he was a pretty determined guy today, and, and uh, he's 220 pounds, so he's really tough to bring down one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And then, you know, as, as we've seen, not only uh, this year, but, you know, last year, he can run away from people, too. When did you guys decide to use Chase so much out of the backfield as a receiver? Last spring. <laughs> I mean, we've been doing it for... He's been in every time we're uh, in diff different personnel packages. He's a really good receiver, and so we've been using him since last spring. Well, we wanted to find a way to get Easton in the game. And uh, we would talked about it in the second quarter, and, and we kind of started rolling. And then at halftime, uh, offensively, we talked uh, and said, hey, either the second or third series, we're going to try to get Easton in. Um, and uh, give him some of our quarterback run stuff. And I thought he did a great job. And then we just kept him in and said, okay, you take this series. Uh, and then I think after the kick return, um, we put Carson back in to start that series. But we were going to try to get Easton some quality reps. Did Cam Peterson earn your kicking job, or is that still open? I, I Probably, but I, I'm still going to have him compete. You know, I want to see – you know, how quick, you know, I didn't, we didn't time the things. Do we have to get quicker on that? But uh, I was pleased with his poise coming off the sideline. It was, 
you know, just kind of another day at the office. He wasn't nervous and those things. And, uh, um, you know, as we've talked many times, we've got to take some pressure off of Ben so he's not doing so many doggone things. And I think when we put Ben back as the holder and those two can work together all the time, there's going to get to be more continuity there. I don't think I've ever seen three holders in one game. I think we had three different holders. No, we should have just had two. No, Davis yeah, Davis and, and Ben are the two holders. No, no, he's just kicking. Yep, no, just two. Defense, they kind of a bounce back game. They have 153 yards passing, but 68 on one play. Yeah, I take that big play out, and I, I'm a defensive back coach. You can't take it out. Uh, that was frustrating, but I thought they played really sound, good football. But, you know, they've heard a lot of things for two weeks, not only from outside, but from inside our facility, too, that uh, we've got to show up and, and play better. And uh, uh, they were a pretty focused group. And uh, CJ makes us better. You saw how Jordan moving inside makes us better, playing some of the nickel spot, because I think Jalen Allison's playing at a high level as well. Uh, it just gives us a little bit more speed on the field. How would you grade your safeties uh, after that big play, obviously, but it looked like you had I thought they played pretty well. We, we had a, a, a gaff on the big play, and we'll look at that and see what was the issue. It, you know, it was a young freshman, but uh, we'll look at that. Too. We'll look at the film and see. We've got to obviously continue to improve and get better, guys, by no – Stretch was this a, a clean, great game for us? We were just something. I think we left some points out on the board, on the field, uh, offensively. Uh, the big play, you know, there's a couple things that we can shore up. We got to shore up our kick coverage. We we were really disappointed in that, guys. But because we haven't won since last January, this is pretty fun. We got we got to win, you know. Let's let's enjoy it. Anything health wise and injuries that you'll come to this? I know they held, uh, I think, Pierre out with uh, maybe a concussion, but we'll find that out. But I, I don't think there was a, a major thing that I'm aware of. You guys have done a lot of rotating on the defensive line over the years. I've never seen so much in the back seven. Can you talk about that, the linebackers and safeties? All that's based on personnel. Okay. So it's not necessarily one guy, you know, playing because the other guy's not doing his job. It's just whatever personnel the offense comes out with, we have a different personnel grouping. Some Bruce Anderson, that the future of what you'd like to see, that kind of speed? Yeah, they've got, some, they've got some speed. And I think the other thing you saw, Lance has got some speed on the edge too. He outran seven a couple times to the corner. And, and uh, we've got to continue to get those guys reps so that we don't wear out King and Chase uh, inside. And then those guys have, have the speed to, to, to turn the corner. Front of the jet sweep, is that finally maybe an answer there? <clears throat> well, it's, you know, I, I think he can do it. I still think Shep can do it. Um, but uh, no, it gives us a, a little bit more speed on the on the perimeter. A lot of questions after the Montana loss. What's the biggest answers you think that were answered? Well, you know, a Montana's a good football team, and, and to play in that environment's a dang tough environment. But uh, um, you know, we were we were good this the last two weeks. We were one and zero for the week, and now we're back to zero and zero, and we've got to prepare again for the next week. And uh, um, so we'll enjoy this win for 24 hours, and then we've got to go to work because we've got the next opponent, and we're trying to go one and zero right now. We our guys won't get complacent; they won't get big heads in there because they know that they were able to go one and zero for the week. Is all. Your thoughts on the next opponent? I'm going to enjoy it, and we'll talk about it on Monday. Thing for Daniel, I noticed he kind of went over there. Was it that you know a kind of emotional thing for the team, or they, what was that? I thought it was really emotional, probably for Tyler Roll and for Tim Polisek that were so close to to Tyler and his family. You know that that's um, he's a bison, and once a bison, always a bison. And uh, it was pretty neat that uh, uh, we were able to do that for those for that family.